I'm so excited to bring up Lin Chow. If you want reliability, scale, performance, you couldn't find a better person than Lin to deliver that. As Lin sets up, I'll tell you a little bit about Fireworks, which is one of the leading, most reliable, most performant inference providers in the world. And I can't wait to turn it over to Lynn to share a little bit about how they do it. Cool, we can get going. Yeah, so today I'm going to talk about the, what the, what's the future state of inference? What does it look like? I guess uh, many of you are uh, very interested in that topic. So I want to start talking about inference through the eyes of app developers and innovative product um, developers. You, you, start, you, you first start from build and ideation into scale after your product market fit. And I want to actually look at, look at that, those phase through a very simple lens of view. Is eventually you're all doing alignment towards your audience. It's massive alignment process. Uh, you're, you're doing from the beginning to the end. So this alignment actually had multiple phases. Here, you actually want to optimize for the user behavior you want to drive. And then from there, your product design need to uh, in tune towards that. And this has been an uh, area that has been heavily studied in, in the past many, many years. And a lot of tools has been enabled for you to do product analytics and logging and so on. And now in GNI phase, as model becomes an intrinsic part of your product stack, and this part of alignment is completely new. And I would say it's very weak in, in, in this phase because app developers just use off-the-shelf model most of the time. And how to infuse your product knowledge into your model is a new area that most people don't know how to do. And the, the best way to steer those models through prompt engineering. So, but if you look at a lot of successful applications and products, as we talked about earlier, a lot of data flying well is the mode you're going to incorporate into a product and stand out from that point. So this is a very interesting um, area that there's not much work that has happened, but we have seen, we have worked with many high, fast scaling startups, and we have seen a lot of success uh, in the areas who can mask that deeply. Again, coming to this phase is the product design to user behavior alignment is in application. And the future inference to product design alignment is off the application space and how to make it easy, accessible, and uh, high quality is the next generation question. More specifically, more specifically, this alignment is very simple. The, the, the idea is very simple, is to align data distribution in your application workload into the data distribution in your training data of the model, essentially. But that alignment is very hard to do because the researchers have to make assumptions who is going to use uh, this model to solve what kind of problem. And oftentimes, those assumptions may not fully connect with uh, real life applications use cases. It's almost always guaranteed there was always gap. Um, as well as the inference system design, it is not one size fits all. It also need to use your production data to drive maximum amount of optimization. So I will say we talk a lot about uh, scaling law in training, scaling law in inference. I think the future of scaling law is actually across three dimensions in inference. Across quality, speed, and uh, user concurrency, which is cost. Um, and when we uh, think about that, we would talk with many, many startups or enterprise coming to us, and I'm like, the question is, what do you want, right? Well, what, what ideally, what is the ideal state you want? The basis that they want open eyes quality, light speed, and uh, uh, high concurrency as if they are running like fraud detection, right? So this is, they want all of that. So basically it becomes a multi-dimensional optimization problem for inference, but specific for a particular application. That's the future. Is the heavy customization of, of scaling inference 
and optimize inference towards a specific application. That's the future scaling law. And the approach to do that is actually not look at inference in isolation. The approach to do that is to combine post-training and inference to do co-optimization. That's the area to drive massive amount of innovation and acceleration. And ultimately, the goal here is to drive down extremely high inference cost, which is today's state, uh, to 10 times or 100 times lower. Imagine this is a, we are seeing a iceberg situation where the waterline of inference cost is very high right now. And when the cost is driven down to 10 times, 100 times lower, and all the application which fit into product market fit can scale into a sustainable business will be much, much bigger. So that's a, that is goal of the future scaling law. The bad news is it is very hard. To solve this problem, it is very hard. Because to do this three-dimensional optimization across quality, speed, and cost, there are a lot of elements to put together. Those elements cover through, hey, I, I don't want to predict one token at a time. I want to predict 10 tokens at a time, and how to do that. How do I align numerics, the positions, towards your data distribution in your application? How do I align uh, the, uh, the selection of hardware? Well, each hardware skill has its own unique advantage and benefits. They're all different towards our patient data distribution. How do we shard the model towards your application distribution? How we, do we do cross-host distributed inference towards your application distribution? How do we select the most optimized kernel towards your application distribution, and how do we have variety of tuning mechanism for quality towards the application. So in combination, it can lead into more than 100,000 combinations to pick and choose from, so it's a hard problem. The good news is we are set to solve that problem, and we have been uh, focused on investing R&D to deliver and solve complex um, this combinatorial explosion problem. Um, and this is a little bit uh, too detailed, <laughs> um, but I, I don't have a good way to capture like, what we have built uh, at Fireworks. At the bottom layer, we have a virtual cloud infrastructure where we take over the uh, consideration of managing all the complexity across you know, where do I find GPU, uh, which is uh, guaranteed to have high quality, high reliability for me to scale my application. Um, and we also build on top of multiple different hardware, uh, from different hardware vendors, from different SKUs, uh, where some hardware has much higher flops, some hardware has much more memory uh, bandwidth that is good for different formation of your application specifically. Uh, to a variety of models, uh, you can pick and choose from open, model um, libraries where you can easily steal towards your application need uh, to various different ways to tune. We tune for speed, we tune for quality, and, and so on. Various different mechanisms. I'm very excited. We're going to talk about um, how to incorporate your pr production data to reinforcement uh, tuning towards your application needs. And on top of that, we have a lot, bunch of uh, developer tools to make it super easy to, and accessible. So um, we have launched our developer-facing platform, self-serve, for a long time. Um, in the, this is in the uh, um, past an, uh, year and a half. So a lot of, lot, we've seen like the most exciting thing for us is to see um, through this lens of alignment product, a lot of applications um, have able to onboard and, uh, and, and do experimentation on our platform and the scale. So very interestingly, we have seen that a um, food chain company, um, which is one of my favorite, um, they use our service and scale from um, running one shop of an AI feature, a very interesting AI feature, into um, you know, a thousand shops in three months. Uh, we also seen a software development company roll out their uh, AI feature from uh, 100,000 developers to 25 million developers within three months. So the fast scaling is, is fascinating here, and, and we want to make sure like this, uh, as they scale, they get to the most optimal sweet spot across quality, cost, and speed. Uh, with that said, 
it's very easy to get started and love to hear from you, uh, all, all the people here building application, what are the next generation uh, problems you are facing for, for inference and love to chat more. Thank you, Lynn.